This video is brought to you in part by premiumbeat.com, an exclusive source of royalty-free tracks for your creative needs. If you like the songs in this video, go check out premiumbeat.com in the description below. So for those of you who are like, oh, what's that Zach guy doing? What is he working on? What is he making? Well, right now I'm playing around with the 16 to 35 G Master Sony lens and I'm seeing what it's like to shoot a couple different things, a couple different tests. I'm doing like a cinematic test video. Now, uh, forgive me, the audio is kind of bad because I'm doing the internal Sony audio, but uh, this is sort of me vlogging at the 16 mil. This is it at 24 mil. So for those of you who are like, oh, you know what, maybe I'll just buy a 24 millimeter lens and vlog with that. Well, this is what it looks like. So this is the difference. So before we'll do like a split screen, 16 mil on the other side, this is 24 millimeters uh, of like distance. And now I'm kind of stalling so you have enough time to compare the two. Also, I just got up, the weather looked really cool. Let's go in, let's play around with some footage, color grade it, make it all moody, and do a cinematic sequence. That is um, a cinematic, maybe a little bit more cinematic than what it needed to be, but uh, I just sort of got a little addicted to um, grading the footage and making it look really awesome. So from what I was, I brought my gimbal out, decided to capture some shots and I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna go a little bit or overboard on this. I don't know if you guys ever get that like cinematic anitis where you're like, oh, I need to make everything look super cinematic. But the number one thing I wanted to do was have sort of a guideline of what this lens did, how it provided, and also, um, I'm sort of guilty of this as well as I'm sure you are too, where it's like you buy a piece of gear and you have to justify it as soon as you bought it. So I literally bought this crazy expensive thing yesterday and now I've just been sort of like shooting with it as much as possible. But the number one thing, as I'm sure you're wondering, is is this lens worth it? Well, let's make it look a little bit more cinematic in here. I'm so sorry for the mess. I'm literally setting up so much stuff in here. Okay. I have to finish this video outside because it is, oh my God, it is like 10 degrees out right now. This is like unheard of for December. This is, I'm literally in a t-shirt right now. Also new swag, new shirt stuff. Uh, I'm totally plugging something else. Let's finish off by talking about this lens, which obviously is the 16 to 35. So is it worth it? Should you get it? Is it like super crazy overpriced? Absolutely. Is it an amazing tool on a filmmaker's toolkit? Absolutely. Is it worth you getting if you're starting out? Absolutely not. Um, 
If you're beginning your filmmaking career and you're just starting out to do videography, I highly recommend not blowing all of your money on expensive gear. And if you want something that justifies not to do that, um, I'll provide in the link below uh, a movie that I shot completely on a cell phone. So you don't need crazy expensive gear. Now this sort of helps me um, sort of progress my career and go a little bit further. Also, I think having a wide angle lens is so important if you are wanting to step up your game. I'm doing a lot of traveling, going to some really beautiful locations, and having a wide angle available is super helpful. And also for me, versatility goes so much further than anything else. Like if there's one thing that is super valuable for me, it's versatility. So I like the fact that I can get ultra wide, with that nice 16 mil, but then I can zoom right into a 35 mil at a 2.8 and get like really cinematic coverage like I was actually blown away with how close and how detailed I get everything and if I crank it let's say into like 4k I'm able to zoom it in even further and get like almost like a 50 mil vibe so this lens for the versatility it's amazing for the price tag still trying to justify it but if you guys do have money you can afford it maybe get it when you're a little bit further down the road in your career. Just start off with like a couple cheaper alternatives. One that I would highly recommend if I was just starting out is the 18 to 105. I'll have a link to lenses that I recommend in the description below. But if you are sort of considering this lens and you've done, you've kicked the tires with other lenses, you've made movies for a while and you're wanting to sort of take a stab at buying a higher quality lens, Hopefully this video helped you make that choice. Um, this was sort of in the flavor of non-vlogging, if anything it was more in the cinematic realm, um, because I wanted to see what it would look like if I were to shoot like movie quality stuff. So that's it, that's all. If you guys liked this video, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, like it, uh, share this with all your filmmaking friends and, and family, and uh, super thanks to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. And yeah, I'm gonna go like enjoy the weather. I'm feeling like, so jacked right now. The weather is nice out. This lens is kicking butt. And uh, that's it. Um, have a good new year. It's the new year. So happy new year. Enjoy it. I don't know why I'm out of breath. Literally, I walked from over there to here and I'm like, what's going on? Anyway, I'll see you guys later.